the international tourist that is attracted by Mahabalipuram is more than the Taj Mahal. It turns huge foreign exchange to the country. Country says, check out what you have given in this budget. 25 crores. If this goes at this pace, Honorable Chairperson, it would take 100 years to complete this project. Again, 16 years have lapsed. Only 100 crores allocated <laughs> to the greatest religious center. Thirunamalai is the greatest religious center. You believe in Hinduism. You claim to be the guardian of the Hindu culture. You claim to be the guardian of Hindu religion and Hindu Tuva. But you don't care about uh, the religious place where crowds of people assembling. Palani is, is almost like Tripadi. You are insensitive to your own ideology. It is because Tamil Nadu has been treated badly. The revenue earning in Salem division is 1,190 crores. My earnest request is that at present no rail is, train is emanating because there is no pit line. And this is a divisional headquarters. Therefore, I urge upon the minister, there are places in Seba Pit Market and Salem Town. And also the pit line could be extended in Erode and Omlu. Omlu being a part of Bangalore division that could be annexed to the Salem division which is only 10 kilometers. Therefore, you can have a pit line and number of trains could be started in this line. Jai Chandran Gold and Diamonds, now at Palikat Night. Sella Ganapati Ji, TM Sella Ganapati Ji. Honorable Chairperson, thank you for having given me an opportunity to speak on the demand for grants of the Ministry of Railways on behalf of the DMK party. Please continue. Up continue, Koru. TM, up Bejan, up Bejo. After Sadasa Bullrai. Members from opposition Bullrai, up Bejan. Please don't disturb. Member of opposition is going. Sir, okay. I am extremely thankful to my dynamic leader, the Honorable Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, who was gracious enough to choose me a candidate of a great Dravidian party for the Salem constituency. So I also profusely thank the people of my Salem constituency from the bottom of my heart for the faith and the confidence that they had bestowed on me and elected me to this house. So before I begin my points on the demand for grants of the railways, Though the Honorable Railway Minister, I'm fortunate that he is here, I may have to answer certain tall claim that he made after the budget speech was made. Yeah, I'm fortunate that you're here. I saw you. I, I'm fortunate. I didn't say unfortunate. I'm fortunate that you're here. The tall climb of 6,362 crores allotted to the state of Tamil Nadu in this demand. Sir, it is true. But still, the amount of revenue receipts that the state of Tamil Nadu contributing to the general budget and particularly to the railway the receipts are enormously high as far as Tamil Nadu state is concerned. But you have given us a pittance. Compared to the kind of work, the ongoing work, that is almost 871 kilometers, new lines have been taken up and it has been pending for almost 15 years and more. Look at the cost over rents. The project which was sanctioned for 100 crores now it has gone up to 2,000 crores because of the inefficient fund that has been allotted by the railway and the raw deal that was meted out to the state of Tamil Nadu. Yes. Sir, I would like to quote certain figures, madam. In this budget, 
Madhya Pradesh alone was given 14,738 crores. Maharashtra, again monumental, 15,940 crores. UP, 19,000 and odd crore. Odisha, 10,586. Rajasthan, almost 10,000. Bihar, 10,000. Almost all the BJP rule states, numbering 11, has taken a huge share of 1,14,434 crores out of the 1,80,000 crores. Is it not unreasonable? Is it this 6,362 crores allowed to Tamil Nadu is a pittance? Almost 62.72 percent of the total allocation has been taken away by 11 states. This is what we say is partition. This is what we say is discriminatory. This is what we say is politically motivated. But what happened to the other non-BJP rule states? Telangana, Himachal Pradesh, you had given us only 29.56 percentage of the total allocation, which is hardly 50,000 crores. Therefore, sir, it's quite un unreasonable to say that Tamil Nadu has been given a few sharp. Sir, let me point out, I would strongly submit some of the projects, the several new line projects sanctioned during the UPA 1, that is way back in 19, uh, 2007, still longishing for want of funds for more than 15 years. One of such scheme is Chennai Kadalur via Mahabalipuram. Sir, the Honorable Minister knows the value of Mahabalipuram. The international tourist that is attracted by Mahabalipuram is more than the Taj Mahal. It earns huge foreign exchange to the country, country's exchequer. But it was sanctioned in 2008. 523 crore was given. A pittance of the project cost is 523. Now the cost overrun is almost 2,000 crore. What you have given in this budget? 25 crores. If this goes at this pace, Honorable Chairperson, it would take 100 years to complete this project. Is this the treatment meted out to the projects that is given to Tamil Nadu? There is no rail connectivity for many of these places. Honorable Sir, to quote some of the other project is Tirunamalai to Dindivanam, which is 70 kilometer, which was conceived, sanctioned in 2007 again. 17 years lapsed. Not an inch was moved till this year, only 100 crores were given. This 17 years, it would be 3,000 crores of cost over run. Sir, if you look at the project which was given to Thiruvannamalai, the state government is playing 10,000 buses every month for the full moon day. The traffic congestion, the pollution it causes, Sir, it is just a 73 kilometer. I would like to point out Thiruvannamali is one of the five Panchapuda Stala, which is Agni Stala, where every month on a full moon day, 25 lakh people gathering. But the railway is not caring about it. And it would take another 50 years to complete this project. Therefore, it is because of Tamil Nadu, this treatment is meted out. It's another religious place, Eero to Palani. <coughs> that was also conceived in 2008-2009. It was a 1,200 crores project. Again, 16 years have lapsed. Only 100 crores allocated <coughs> to the greatest religious centre. Thirunamala is the greatest religious centre. You believe in Hinduism. You claim to be the guardian of the Hindu culture. You claim to be the guardian of... Hindu religion, Hindu Tuva. But you don't care about uh, the religious place where crowds of people assembling. Palani is, is almost like Tripadi. You are insensitive to your own ideology. It is because Tamil Nadu is being treated badly. Sir, another Madurai to Tutukran, another religious place, 2,000 crores. <coughs> Only 200 crores were given for the last 13 years, sir. 
Therefore, we say the pittance is given now. Yes. Supply ceiling is very interesting, sir. Chairperson. We have been talking about two A's in this house on several occasions. I don't know whether A1 or A2 has taken the Karakal port. <laughs> They've taken over the Karakal port. For a port connectivity, rail connectivity, there's a place called Paralam Junction. From Paralam to Karakal, only last year the plan was conceived. And almost it's come to a conclusion, completion. It's a miracle. Whereas I've narrated all those places where it's been pending for 17 years, because one of the A1 or A2 has taken over the port in Karikal, immediately the NDA government swing into action and it is in a lightning speed. In one year, the project is being completed. This is the difference. If it is us, it is different. Then the Marapur Dharmapuri, my honorable brother is here. Sir, in 13th Lok Sabha, I have raised this issue. In 1999, you know, it has seen the day of the light, which was an existing line, 36 kilometers only, and almost five members of parliament have gone. It has not seen the light. What is the cost of a rent? Said Dindivanam Nagari scheme, 180 kilometer, hardly 30 percent. Again, 15 years it's been pending. Said Sri Parambudur, one of the industrial hub. That is between Sri Parambudur to Kuduvanjeri, Kuduvanjeri, that connects Chennai port. Almost four international export oriented automobile industries are there, which is Nissan, Hyundai, Daimler, BMW, and Ashok Leyland. So almost cost is 200 percent when you carry these vehicles to the port via road. So there's been a demand, 60 kilometers, it does not see the. So all these projects, sir. If the government of India funds the way in which you are doing it now, it would take 100 years to complete. Sir, this Manilye, is, sir, this is complete Sabha. Complete please. <coughs> so we have been given 20 minutes. I don't think we have completed 20 minutes. Sorry for differing with you. Sir, looking at my Rasayalam Railway Division, it is totally neglected. You know how much was allotted for the division headquarters? It was only 50 crores. Where even in a religious place, it's like Ramnad, where one of the dawn in Tamil Nadu, in India, Dwarakarnath, Jakarnath, Kedarnath, and Ramnath, you have given only 90 crores because it is Tamil Nadu. Whereas Varanasi, you have given 4,000, 7,000 crores. We don't mind giving it to any other place, eh? but how the treatment is meted out, that is very important. For in the general budget, almost 6 lakhs crores of the revenue receipts have been passed on to the government of India. Yes, what complete share complete, we, are, we are getting it? Sir, I am completing. Or be member Sir, this, the division was started members, in 2004. Sir. The revenue earning in Salem division is 1,190 crores. My earnest request is that at present no rail is, train is emanating because there is no pit line. And this is a divisional headquarters. Therefore, I urge upon the minister, there are places in Sebapit Market and Salem town and also the pit line could be extended in Erode and Omulu. Omulu being a part of Bangalore division that could be annexed with the Sam division which is only 10 kilometers. Therefore, you can have a pit line and number of trains could be started in this line. At, at the same time, during the zero hour last week, sir, the issue of fencing the railway track which was taken up and the Honorable Minister was kind enough instructing the Salem division, there are about 22 Road over and under over bridge are in demand. The fund is the problem. It has Dhanibad, to be allotted. Malari, there are four pillar bridge at Sarkarai Chetipati at Omlur block area. Almost 1,000 people get stranded during the rainy season and unable to move out. Therefore, an ROB is necessitated. Sir, one important thing is Erkard Express and Nilagiri Express, sir. I wanted to celebrate Golden GP. 50 years Dhanibad, of my travel right from my student days. It is infested with bug. The age-old ICF coaches are being used when you are producing 6,000 coaches in ICF. We want VHP, sir. VHP, the modernized coaches for these true trains, sir. And also, 
the development of railway is very crucial sir for tamil nadu the infrastructure development that has been going on there has to be a coordinated development sir one thing sir the safety of the railway is in peril the kind of accident that's been going on the kawach you have been talking it about almost 10 years this issue has been going on and only 1500 has been installed against the target of 44000 and your cap capital your operation ratios going up how are you going to fund this project Manini, it's good sir, sir you 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 allotted 262000 capital expenditure it is true but will it really workable dhanyawad dhanyawad manini sir sir dhanyawad it's going on a lot your operating ratio is going up sir you are spending 107 rupee for earning 100 rupee is that the way therefore we request that the railway should improve the financial there has to be a financial discipline at the same time please do not give us a raw deal and for tamil nadu we need more funds that is the reason we said even dhanush kodi we differ because there is a ecological fry, environmental problem it is environmentally fragile the strip in dhanush kodi is just 500 feet just width of it and 500 feet you lay a road and a uh, rail track how is it going to manage how is it going why should it be completed there is 20 minutes for our party there are 50, 500 feet stretch it will it will environmentally is dangerous sir therefore we oppose to this policy jayachandran gold and diamonds now at palikatnai